Okay, seniors, if you're responsible for supportive, please come up and look at that way you go.
Hi, I'm Hunter Hoven. I'm presenting fan favorite senior boy, and that's going to Skyler Bryant.
Sydney has asked me to read. I think it's appropriate. The worst case of senioritis goes to Probably, 
interacted with her in some way, shape, or form. You may have emailed me and gotten a response from her because that's just the kind of magic she she can weave. She makes sure that things get done, and she uh, calls herself a glorified paper pusher. And if you know her, you know that she is just so much more than that. Anyways, she is a parent away from all of you family members. She's not trying to take over anything that you're doing. She's just supporting your kid when they're away from home. She makes sure that they have the best experience that they can have. She works tirelessly to help all of our students. And the crazy thing is she's done this with me now for 14 years. 14 years of service to Pinellas County School students and band members. And we would not be the band we are. We would not be uh, experiencing the success that we do without this person. Doing all the little things, sometimes behind the scenes, sometimes in front of the scenes, but all those little things. And that wonderful, wonderful person is Mrs. Panbert. digestible moment, and then we bask in that glory afterwards. Uh, can we demonstrate the band clap? Please, one, two, three. And we sit in that present and pause and reflect. There go. Yeah. We had our fifth annual Prism concert expanded to two nights because we were tired of selling out, wanted to have even more opportunity to perform. 29 students were selected for the Pinellas All-County Band. Uh, one student, Ms. Kia Garcia, was selected for the Pinellas All-County Jazz Band. So if you're going to do the band clap, it's got to be a unified thing all at once. Okay, so we have to work on the vertical alignment. We had 129 entries in over 30 events at our district's solo and ensemble, including brass choir, woodwind choir, clarinet choir, saxophone choir, two percussion choirs, uh, and several other ensembles for a total of 121 superior medals awarded. 
and parents, if that number just sounds like, I don't know, like MAMs are successful, and of course they get numbers like that. Um, the, the average for Pinellas County schools, like if you combine all high schools and then uh, bring it together, I believe it's around 50 medals uh, per school. So we're, we are well above that, which is just fantastic. Actually, and that, that's rough math. That's me just knowing how other schools do. I'm sure that, that the actual answer is much lower. These students are absolutely astronomically awesome. We had 17 student entries in eight events at State Solo Ensemble with 11 superior medals earned and two superior with distinction medals earned at State. I like the gesture. Thank you. Uh, in partnership with Clearwater Jazz Holiday, our jazz ensemble had its fourth annual jazz breakfast with legendary Pinellas County jazz pedagog Frank Williams. The Jazz Ensemble earned straight superior ratings at District Jazz and PA. Okay, so now, now I won't wait for it. Like, but if you, you, know, you gotta, gotta do it more authentically, right? Uh, we had an overall superior rating with our concert band at District and PA. We had straight superior ratings for Win Ensemble at District and PA. Winterguard, I think I got this one right. Winterguard placed six your flight at FX. I saw six fingers from here because I heard that that wasn't working. So, um, I think that was it. Uh, sixth in their flight at FFCC Circuit Championships for their first year being promoted to double A class. We were represented at Universal Studio with a parade in front of what could potentially be right, an international audience from people all over the world from the Universal Studios. We had nine band students take the rigorous AP Music Theory exam this past week. Those, they, they, those students didn't clap. They all clap. Why did you go on here? As our year draws to a close, um, kind of an interesting statistic, and Mr. Schmidt-Deal may have said something uh, to this effect of graduation, so seniors and families that uh, you, you might have a, an actual number but the performing arts department combined, so band, choir, orchestra, theater, uh, with all of the seniors graduating, have a combined scholarship amount uh, in the six-figure range, which is a standard. And then we culminated our year with two spring concert and this fantastic, gigantic, wonderful banquet. So we want to extend our, our to the students from the staff and from me, we want to extend congratulations to each and every one of you uh, for your dedication and hard work and passion and what that has yielded throughout the year. Uh, you, all of that has culminated in performances that have not only impressed but inspired. Your recent successes are a testament to your talent, the time that you have spent to home. We want you to take a moment to really sit back and think about all of those things that you've achieved and earned they're not just a fleeting moment of, oh, this is cool, okay, move on. We really want you to sit and think about how did you get to the point that you're at right now where you get to really celebrate, feel good, and it's because you did a lot of work to get here. So as you celebrate, it's important to remember that this is just one milestone in this long musical journey. Uh, band, you would know that I would say this to you, that life is not about band, but band is about life. And success in music like in life is not necessarily a final destination, but it is an ongoing process. There are always new heights to reach. To our graduates, you have only ever known superior ratings, but those did not occur by chance. They are direct results of your relentless effort and unwavering commitment to excellence. Every moment of focus has contributed to those outstanding results. While we take pride in what we have accomplished, I would encourage all of you to not let it be the end of your pursuit. And certainly, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, we have a long way to go. To our graduates, you have even further. Embrace every opportunity to grow, whether it's through new performances, learning different instruments, different techniques, or simply practicing with even more passion and dedication than you do. Your journey does have no limits, so continue to push those boundaries of what you can achieve. I'd ask that you stay humble, stay curious, and to all of our seniors graduating, again, I wrote four words if you 
asked me to sign your yearbook. There were four words in there, and I underlined them. And I would just request that as my last act as your band director, that's the last direction I'm ever allowed to give you, and you do that thing that I wrote. We're going to move on to hopefully a part of the evening that will move very quickly, though it is rather intense. We're going to recognize members of band in their first year, second year, and third year. Uh, along the way, we're going to be handing out uh, some superior medals that they were earned at solo and ensemble, and hopefully not drop water on something. <laughs> uh, for those of you that did earn medals at solo and ensemble, we uh, have some but not all medals. They are coming from uh, somewhere very far away, and we only have a small amount of them. So all of the medals that were earned across the county, because we had so many, they did not want to give them all to us, so they made sure the other schools got some to hand out at their banquets, and we were shortchanged a little bit. So they are coming. They're just not all here, but if you were a part of Salon Ensemble, you are for sure getting one this evening. So, um, Ms. Burke's got a certificate, and... I believe Ms. Burke is summoning... So this is going to be our long list of first year, second year, and third year students. And as we call your name, we ask that you come up. You're going to get a certificate from me along the way, uh, depending on uh, whether or not you did solo ensemble or any other little things that we might have for you. You're going to make a pit stop over here before you walk up here. I'm going to hand you a certificate, and then you're going to make your way this way. Where you're going to get your photo ticket, and you're going to hang out for a little bit so we can get a uh, photo of each class, and it might not be grade necessarily, right? Because we have some people that it's their first year in band, but they're not band students, or rather, they're not freshmen. Um, and so we're going to get you by class in that way, or cohort might be a more accurate way to do it. So here we go, Mia Armstrong. The thing that's great is a long pause. Ava Aldio. Sonia Baird. Mila Burnham. Tyler Butts. <laughs> Lillian Conn. Some of you are thinking, this really like this really gonna be like this really gonna be like this. Why don't you look at that sack? So make those claps as intense as you can. Aiden Dubesky. Justin Deal. Porter Edhouse. A long way to go, folks. Try to keep that intensity up. <laughs> Olivia Green. Ariel Hernandez Castellano. <laughs> William Harrington. <laughs> Ethan Now. <laughs> Noah Jacob. Ethan Johnson. <laughs> Richie Colburn.
Olivia Locker. Cillian Lee. Sophia Licata. Parker Lindemann. Lopez Martinez. <laughs> Leon Mayberry. <laughs> Lucas Mayberry. <laughs> Shayon May. Alex Metcalf. <laughs> Ray Smoa. <laughs> Karis Parker. <laughs> Sebastian Penza. Joseph Ryder. Edwin Romero Pena. Emma Schmidt. Brandon Schwartz. <laughs> Elias Gobi. <laughs> Ethan Sheets. <laughs> Emma Chuchart. Adrian Zemanski. <laughs> Ethan Wilkins. Brendan Clancy. <laughs> Mike Cole. Gavin Davis. <laughs> James Dollar. <laughs> Caroline Fine. Sam Brennan. <laughs> Tuesday work. <laughs> Isabella Jantak.
Michael Lavelle. Max Lynch. Michael Mavu. Will McCormick. Jaden Mellow. Catherine Pauling. Savannah Roos. Alana Sampson. Danny Scali. Abby Salons. Tejas Srirum. Kate Dagger. Bella Diophanes. <laughs> Joshua Toba. <laughs> Dylan Valenti. Sam Wolosinski. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your second year in band cohort. <laughs> So I was mistaken, Miss Bird is again amazing. What she did is she made sure that we did as we grouped them. I mean, this maybe made sense to you, and it has since illuminated on me that they have been grouped in grade, but also on their sheet, it does reflect how many years they've been in dance. So actually what we are seeing was the freshman class and the sophomore class. So now we move on to our junior class. Lila Emerson. Justin Bullardman. <laughs> Jacob Baldwin. <laughs> Donovan Kansi. Alex Castro. Yeah. Zephyr Claudio. Yeah. Cash Crawford. Yeah. Annalise Cummins. Tyler Dublin. <laughs> Kia Garcia.
Parker Goodlett. Hayden Lewis. David McKinley. That's my brother. Delaney Pope. Adam Prashma. <laughs> Seth Price. <laughs> Edward Dramelis Morante. <laughs> Jaden Reason. Angel Rosa. <laughs> Brian Schmidt. <laughs> Philip Sherman. Willem Stewart. <laughs> Eric Salku. <laughs> Maddie Trentler. Nathan Wilkins. <laughs> Connor Wibholm. <laughs> Sarah Wagner. <laughs> Hope Vincent. Addison Ward. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your class of twenty twenty five. We have arrived at the park that some of these students have been looking forward to for quite a few years now. So this uh, is our graduating class of 2024. Band <laughs> saxophone in the Silver Sound. He's been a member of the concert band, the Wind Ensemble in the Silver Sound Marching Band. He served as uniform chair in her junior year, woodwind sergeant in her senior year, and principal of the sax in the East Lake Wind Ensemble. Also had a solo in our show this year. Over the course of four years, earned several superiors with woodwind choir and sax choir. She is also part of East Lakes Spanish Honor Society as treasurer and East Lakes Music Honor Society as vice president. After high school, she plans to join the U.S. National Guard and attend UF to study criminology and psychology. Mia Alcachira.
Our next senior. <laughs> has played trombone in the Silver Sound. This is uh, a three-year member of the Silver Sound Marching Band, has been a member of the concert band and the wind ensemble, has earned superiors with the Brass Choir at District Solo Ensemble, is secretary of the National Technical Honor Society in East Lake. He plans to attend SBC to study political science. Mark Bober. Our next senior has played clarinet in the Silver Sound, has also been a member of our concert band, Our Wind Ensemble, served as librarian in her junior year, cap band captain in her senior year, has been in an all-county band for six years. Superior earned several superiors with Widow Choir and Clarinet Choir. Was Vice President of Service for NHS, Historian for Triumph, Founder and President the Habitat for Humanity Eastlake Chapter, as well as volunteer work with uh, that association. Was a member of the Salty Soul Foundation for Beach Cleanup and participated in Youth Leadership and Ellis. After high school, she plans to study speech communication and disorders and become a pediatric speech language pathologist. Sydney Bro. Our next senior has served as lead alto in our jazz ensemble and has been a member of our concert band and wind ensemble. Has earned superiors with wind choir and sax choir. Was a former football player at East Lake High School before committed to the Silver Sound Marching Band. He plans to attend USF to pursue a degree in biomedical sciences. Mr. Shadow Ryan. It has been requested for those of you who may be presenting a senior with something that after their name has been called and they've had their picture taken, that you meet them over there and just very quickly and, uh, gosh, can't think of a good word for it, but uh, swiftly is also good, that's not where I was going, uh, but present them with, with their award. So if you have, I see lots of little goodie bags if your seniors up here just very kind of discreetly so that they can enjoy it. Our next senior has played French horn in the Silver Sound and was Prince Horn in our concert band in her senior year. She just recently took the rigorous AP Music Theory exam. After high school, she plans to attend SBC to major in veterinary science. Chase Buckman.
Our next senior has played a trumpet in the Silver Sound for all four years, has been in the All Family Band for two years, with a trumpet soloist for the Wind Ensemble, has earned several superiors with our brass choir, is a classical country pianist, has earned second place in the Tampa Chess Tournament, and has multiple podium placements for competitive speed skating. <laughs> After high school, he plans to pursue a computer science degree at SBC. Aaron Chin. solo and ensemble for all four years of high school. You can hear him perform out of the community on drum set at various locations and restaurants and some bars, and now I can actually, now that he's graduated, I'll go see him do that. He plans to attend SBC to major in nursing. Mr. Jonathan Frederick. Senior has played French horn and mellophone, has been in the Silver Center all four years, was principal horn in our wind ensemble, was selected as uh, our earned best brass with the marching band in his junior and senior year, earned many solo and ensemble superiors with brass and mixed woodwind choirs, was the chief lighting manager and theater department coordinator. After high school, he plans to attend UCF to major in aerospace engineering. Spencer Gallaty. Senior has served as drum major and principal of the student of our wind ensemble. Has been a member of the All County Band for two years, was a member of USF's Festival of Winds in her senior year, took, recently took a rigorous AP music theory exam, has earned a numerous solo and ensemble superiors with Woodwind Choir, was a member of our school's academic team. After high school, she plans to go to SBC to major in criminology. This is Savannah Gibson. Choir and trombone ensemble. She's played varsity and club lacrosse, 
uh, was a member of our school's Thespian Troop 4356, uh, was the Blood Drive Coordinator for the Science National Honor Society, and was in a number of honor societies like NHS, NEHS, and Rhode Capital. After high school, she plans to attend UF to study psychology. It's like I do. senior has played trumpet all four years, has been a member of our concert band, our wind ensemble, and has served as lead trumpet in our jazz ensemble in his senior year. He took and passed the AP Music Theory exam in his junior year, I believe. He earned several superiors with our brass choir and earned uh, many other superior ratings at all solo and ensemble events. After high school, he plans to attend SBC to major in digital media and computer science. Mr. George Bookworms. section leader in his junior year and drum major in his senior year, was a member of the all-county bands in 2022 and 2023, earned superiors at state solo and ensemble sophomore through senior years, was a member of the Macy's Great American Marching Band in 2022, and passed the AP Music Theory exam. He was a member of the Trium Honor Society, the East Lake High School academic team. After high school, he plans to attend the University of South Florida, Studies Music Education, John Langford. Our next senior has been a percussionist in the Silver Sound, the concert band, and the wind ensemble. He's earned many superior ratings with percussion choir over all four years of his time in high school. 
this Tri-M member, and uh, earned his Eagle Scout Honor Award. After high school, he plans to go to USF to study engineering. Dominic Masato. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is where we, this is where we, yeah, this was it. Our next senior was a percussionist in the Silver Sound during their time in high school. Was a member of the concert band, wind ensemble, and Silver Sound. This is the kind of class and organization you can come to expect from East Lake High School. Where a kid can make it. This senior was section leader in their junior year, percussion sergeant, senior year, took and passed the AP Music Theory exam, earned many superiors with percussion ensemble and mount solos and ensembles at the district and state levels. Participated in art show, continues to create sculptures in and out of school. Plans to attend the University of South Florida and wants to earn a Bachelor of Fine Arts. Go Bulls! Ayla Noble Levin. Our next senior was a percussionist in the Silver Sound all four years. Performed as a percussionist in our concert band and with an ensemble. Earned numerous superior ratings for solos and ensembles at the district and state level assessment. Was in our jazz ensemble for two years. Was a member of Row Kappa and was also an Eagle Scout. After high school, he plans to attend the University of South Florida. Why Masada? Our next senior joined our band in his junior year as a flautist and piccolo player. Was section leader in his senior year. Earned superior ratings at solo and ensemble at the state level for two years. And also earned superiors with our woodwind choir and flute quartet. Was a member of the concert band and wind ensemble for two years. And had been a member of the Helix Charter High School marching band in California before he moved here. He's earned superior ratings performing with the concert band and wind ensemble. After high school, he plans to attend the University of South Florida to, thank you, to study music education. Matthew McDonald. Our next senior joined us as a initially as a bass guitarist, and then uh, in her senior year, uh, decided to learn of the trumpet. 
She took and passed the rigorous AAV music theory exam in her sophomore year. Has been a member of the East Lake High School Choir all four years and has made all state uh, choir in her senior year. And was a member of our Triumph Music Society. After high school, she plans on attending the University of South Florida to study global business with a minor in Spanish. Sophia Parada. Our next senior has played trombone in the Silver Sound Concert Band and Wind Ensemble. Has earned numerous superiors with our Brass Choir at East Lake and earned superior ratings performing with our Concert Band and Wind Ensemble. After high school, he plans to attend SBC to study Business Analytics and Information Systems. Mr. Gabriel Rondo. Our next senior was a member of our jazz band for two years before uh, deciding to join us in the Silver Sound in his senior year as a synth and keyboard player. Took and passed the AP Music Theory exam in his sophomore year, I believe. Uh, was bass section leader in the Eastlake High School Choir. Co-led the men's barbershop ensemble. Was a singer in Eastlake Jazz Vocal for three years. And was a vice president of our school's Gender and Sexuality Alliance Club for two years in a row. After high school, he plans to study music composition, would like to move to Canada. Hunter Rose. First chair all county for the past three years and named most outstanding woodwind for the past three years by all of you who voted. Uh, most outstanding AP Music Theory student of the year and her sophomore year. Earned just too many superiors to count for clarinet solos, piano solos, clarinet choirs, woodwind choirs, percussion choirs, and, and, and everything was the most outstanding language art student of the year in her junior year, secretary of the Triumph Music Honor Society, part of National Honor Society, the Pennell Student Symphony, first violinist, and clarinetist in 10th and 11th grade, member of the East Lake High School academic team, was Pennell's County Music Educator Association, New Music Festival Composition Award winner in 9th and 10th grade. After high school, she plans to attend the University of Florida to double major in music and English. Larissa Samson. Clarinet and tenor saxophones in our various ensembles. Was all county bass clarinet 
in 11th grade and 12th grade, quartermaster in his senior year, served as second tenor in our jazz ensemble, principal bass clarinet, contra bass clarinet, and wind ensemble, took and passed the rigorous AV music theory exam, earned numerous solo and ensemble superiors for wind choir, clarinet choir, and bass clarinet solos, was a member of the undefeated East Lake academic team in his 12th grade year and treasurer of the Engineering Honor Society. He plans to study to become a mechanical engineer, Mr. Paul Toy. This is your graduated graduated class of 2024. For your continued dedication to all our students, these are our kids, our sons and daughters, and we are so grateful for your care, support, dedication, and patience with each and every single one of them. Please accept a little small gift as a token of our appreciation for all that you do. The above and beyond care and dedication to our program. We know it's not easy. There are many obstacles, last minute changes, conflicts, and yet you show our students each day what hard work and dedication can achieve. We are lucky to have an inspiring leader and honest example of work and dedication to our young adults. Thank you. Also, thank you for your patience with us, the Van Roosters. We know we have a lot of questions, requests, and then even more questions. And you're always so kind to give us the time and attention. So together, we can ensure our students are taken care of. Ms. Bird, you're the clue. We think of the things that we don't even know what to think of. Thank you is not enough, but know how much we appreciate and value you. Accept also the small token of our appreciation for all that you are and do for us. Our students are incredibly lucky to have you. And we as parents, we recognize that it's not often they can find such safe haven and guidance in the high school. You're truly special to us all. I want to thank um, Ms. Amy Thacker, Sabina Davis, Kristen Malargen, I hope I said that right, who jumped in last minute. Uh, Danette Rush, we're going to miss you. Thank you to also Ms. Jen Trinidad and Becky Pufaldo, who are not here, but helped us as well. Special thanks to Doug Pauling, also known as the other Doug, who ran our concession <laughs> like a pro. <laughs> I think we make a pretty good team, and that's because I think we all have the same idea. idea. Let's do our best to support our students in the Silver Sound program. And none of what we do would be possible without you parents. Thank you for all your support, your volunteering, your involvement. And your presence, you just being there. It truly takes a village, and I'm very proud of our village. Finally, thanks to Ms. Natasha Kelly. Parents who don't, and, and I, I don't, I don't actually, I don't 
I want to know. Um, one day, uh, in, in the band room, there was an, an unopened bottle of Publix white vinegar. Just, just, just hanging out. And I went, what the heck is this doing here? It's just like a bottle of vinegar. It's like, what? What's going on? So I said, get put in my office because I don't want the smell of vinegar everywhere. And sitting on the desk, and somebody must have come in and said, what's that? Oh, look at here. Just down in the mirror. Oh, that's strange, whoever that, and I honestly forget who that was. And didn't really take anything of it until the second one appeared about a week later. <laughs> and then um, they, gosh, just began multiplying. And it would um, be like I'd come in after weekend, or heck, I'd just be in rehearsal. And somehow, even though no one got up from rehearsal, at the end of rehearsal, there'd be another bottle of white vinegar. So currently in my office, because I've not brought all of them home with me, my laundry has been doing great, and I have made so many pickled things. Um, I think there's like five currently in my office, along with way too many jars of peanut butter, but that's a different story. Um, so now there's seven more outstanding, and that, that's the best kind of prank, I think. <laughs> And that is exactly what I did. When life gives you vinegar, make pickles. <laughs> and my wife is like, why do, why do you keep buying vinegar? And I'm like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. She was very happy. I can the pantry. I didn't know. I didn't know, but... It's just weird when it's next to my favorite office. Okay, so we're going to begin our awards that we uh, that we uh, give out each year. Uh, these are discussed among staff, uh, and Ms. Burton and I are based on several different metrics uh, throughout the year. Let me do this one, this one first, because this is like kind of a unique one. Um, this one had been a superlative in years past, but this one, uh, I think even without voting, I think most people, once they know what it is, uh, would have probably a pretty good sense of who, who would get this. So this is a unique one. This is our SPAM award. Um, and SPAM stands for Superior Performance and Launching. Uh, and so this award would go to someone who has just the best marching technique and also can demonstrate prowess on their instrument. And in this case, an instrument they were just beginning to learn but immediately could graduate and march any drum corps that's out there. The SPAM Award goes to Ms. Sophia Perron. What are you gonna do with your award? I'm just gonna let it run in my pantry. That's what she was saying. Uh, we're going to move on to our most improved freshman awards. Uh, one of these, uh, unfortunately, for a set of these, uh, the trophy company uh, that we just went to now three times over the past two days um, to, to get awards has forgot to uh, finish these. So they are forthcoming, so when we don't have yours, Ms. Bird and I apologize greatly, but we're still going to announce your name because we do want to recognize you. So these are our most improved freshman awards. For our most improved woodwind, Karis Parker. For most improved brass, Emma Schmidt. Percussion, Lucas Mayberry. (laughs) 
most improved guard, Alexa and Tommy. Our most outstanding freshman woodwind goes to Mila Burnham. Most outstanding freshman brass, Ethan Sheets. <laughs> Most outstanding freshman percussion, Sebastian Penza. Outstanding freshman guard, Celia Plato. Most improved sophomore percussion, Caroline Fox. And most improved sophomore guard, Cassie Lindeman. Most outstanding sophomore woodman goes to Alana Sampson. <laughs> Most outstanding sophomore brass goes to Brandon Clancy. <laughs> Outstanding sophomore percussion goes to Will McCormick. <laughs> and most outstanding sophomore guard goes to Bella Theophanis.
Most improved junior woodwind goes to Seth Price. Improved Junior Brass goes to Brian Schmidt. <laughs> Most improved junior percussion goes to Zephyr Claudio. Outstanding junior woman goes to Kia Garcia. <laughs> Most outstanding. Junior Brass goes to Jacob Caldwell. <laughs> Most outstanding junior percussion goes to Connor Whitholm. Thank you. 
<laughs> next we have uh, these the, these next three are actually uh, words given nationally uh, to band students across the country and um, given out by a bench called the instrumentalist and so uh, these students join kind of a pantheon of who's who among notable high school students with the uh, with these awards uh, our first award is the louis armstrong jazz award uh, this student has done so much in their time at eastlake and the best part i think is that that time isn't done yet it's really just almost just getting started and we're so excited to see what happens next year the award goes to miss kia garcia Sousa, and that it is someone who, who uh, 
John Philip Sousa was someone who championed music in America, someone who uh, took band to another level. And this individual has done that ever since I've met her and continues to amaze me to this day, and I'm sure will continue to do so for as long as she's making music, which I hope is at least as long as I'm alive, because I'm gonna, you know, I, I need to be enthralled and amazed. And we're so sad to lose her, but so excited to see what the future holds for her. The John Philip Sousa Award for 2024 goes to Larissa Sampson. This has been worked on by almost all of the members of our senior class. Um, so you're going to hear some in, in incredible voice acting, and I think you're really going to love it. Um, and some of you may be familiar other schools, how, how they do their trailers. Miss um, Jan Tax laughing because she showed me one recently. I have my say my own artistic style, and the seniors got a chance to experience that. Uh, I'm excited to showcase this uh, for you as well. So, I uh, want to make sure that the audio is up, because you're not going to want to miss some of these seniors, and, and I wonder if you'll be able to pick them out, too. It's going to be a challenge for some of them, until they say their name, at least one of them says their name. So, here comes the 2024 East Lake Show theme trailer.
five years worth of East Lake students represented uh, at that level, which hopefully we can make happen again. We are we are kind of clawing at a whole lot of things right now to get that off the ground. So hopefully I'll have some really great news for you. But just to sort of uh, get get your wheels turning about what the future can hold to our seniors, we are so excited for your future. We are sad to see you go, but we are very very happy for you. And please don't be strangers. And uh, Miss Jan Tack is going to say it. You got to come back and help with the classic because we're going to need it. So with that. I want to conclude this event. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for a great school year. We'll see you in the next one.